Hello everyone, in this video I want to show you how to measure the weight of the model in SOLIDWORKS. First, I open the part and I design a simple model. For example, in front plane, I sketch rectangle and extrude that. We have two options to add density of my material in SOLIDWORKS. First, I click on right click on the material in design theory and select edit material. In SOLIDWORKS, we have a library, material library to choose our material. For example, here we have a steel category, plastic category, titanium, iron. For example, I click on steel category and select and select one of them. For example, this one. As you can see, here we have a property of the material. For example, elastic module, poison ratio, shear module. These properties usually used for simulation, SOLIDWORKS simulation. But here we want to use mass density to calculate weight. I click apply for example for this material the mass density is 8000 kilogram per cubic meter i click apply and as you see in design three the material is changed and the appearance of the part also changed now i clicked evaluate tab and click mass properties in mass properties window we have weight volume surface area center of mass the weight of my part here is about 4000 grams this weights use the density of this material but if i want to use my own density i cancel this window i right click on the edit material and remove the material for example i want to use the aluminium 661 I go to the Google and search aluminium 6061 density. As you see, the density of this aluminium is 2.7 gram per cubic centimeter. I go to back to SOLIDWORKS and in the evaluate tab, again I click on mass properties. And now I click on the options and click use custom setting. Here I can change the units, for example, for mass, I can change it to the kilograms. For volume, I can change to the cubic meter or liters or anything I want. But the important part is material properties, density. Aluminum 60, 61, density. I write 2.7. And for the units, I write gram per cubic centimeters. Gram per cubic centimeters. I can write the units here and click OK. As you see, the weight is changed to 1.4 kilograms. Another option we have is accuracy level. Usually we use this for complex model in SOLIDWORKS. I put it in higher for complex model to have accurate weight. If I change it to higher for this part, simple part, the weight not will be changed. I hope this video was useful for you. Thank you for watching.